Okay, you gotta... Welcome to Manchester, the sunniest place on earth. I'm Mackenzie, and this is Up Yours and Personal. Today, we're saying up yours... <laughs> to period shaming. Can you tell me what you're gonna ask me? No. Are you ready? All right, how you doing today? Um, yeah, I'm not so bad. You know, it's, uh, it's a lovely day outside. Um, the sun is shining. Um, <laughs> behind every cloud, there is blue sky. What is your favorite word for vagina? Oh, oosh. Um, oh, my parents might be watching this. Fanny. Fanny. Yeah. Snatch. Snatch. It's like we're about to grab you or we're never going to let go. When your penis comes in, like, that's it. You're done. Yeah. Okay. He's got a good one brewing. I can okay. feel it. I can feel it. My favorites are like beaver or like if you went to private Catholic school, front bottom or just like point to it. Um, <laughs> Pandora's oyster. Hello, Leticia. Okay, okay. Would you like to... Would you Sir! Like to Vajayjay. Vajayjay. That's a good one. That's a clap. Yeah. What about like lady box, whispering eye? Come on, you've seen the movie. <laughs> How would you describe the smell of a vagina? <laughs> don't know, don't want to know. No, He's done, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Yeah. Bring some of that. Fish? Fish! The thing is, you're right, they do smell like fish. Correct. Wow. Uh, sushi. Have you never emptied a can of tuna? If you had to guess, <laughs> I mean, people always say fish, and I, I don't, I don't like the idea. Of people do say fish, and I'm offended by this. I'm sorry. Okay, I just smelt some marijuana. Someone smoking. What's this for? I'm so. This is for research. Oh right, okay. I'm an anthropologist. What do you think when people describe it as fishy? Yeah, it's just a bit offensive. It sounds like, oh, your vagina's a bit fishy. It's just right. I would never call it that. Thank God. Fish. Why do you think that is? Do you think that's accurate or do you think it's just a, through the grapevine? No, I think it's accurate. I think the bacteria. There is bacteria. Yeah, that's true. Bacteria. Healthy. Yeah. So let's talk about periods, okay? What do you think about them? I love them personally. I mean, they're all right. Periods. Mm, yeah. Five minutes later. Well, it's a natural process. It's all right. It's all right? It's not, it's not ideal. I know a lot about them. You do? Tell us everything you know right now. So girls can have heavy periods, some girls have light periods. You bleed for five days uh, in a 28 day cycle. You have follicle stimulating hormone, you have luteinizing hormone. <laughs> and all these different hormones are changing. This guy, I am very pleasantly surprised with your answers. I just have a lot of respect for women. Obviously, Amy's had one before and... Yes, she has. I would say she has. Um, she does tell me numerous times that she's in pain and I just feel sorry for her. Like, since I had like so many girlfriends and... So many girlfriends! I, I think it's like really terrible for them that week. <laughs> not cool. Do you think we like it? You hate it. Have you ever actually seen period blood before your very eyes? Yes. Tell us the story. So, I was in theatre. That's where all this happens. <laughs> all the good stuff happens in theatre. Yeah, yeah. As part of our sign-off, we have to do a vaginal exam where we see, we have to feel the ovaries and stuff to see if there's any disease. To a real person? To a real person, yeah. To this is in theatre? No, as in theatre, as in medical theatre. Jesus no, not Christ. A, no, no, yeah. I, I was like, as an actress, I didn't sign up to have vaginal. No, no, like, no, no, what? No, 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 no. She ever had an emergency where she needed you to get tampons. She was bleeding through her shorts in the middle of class, frozen in fear. Would you rush to her side and buy her some tampons? I go get the tampons first and then rush to her side. Right. In that order. Yeah, did both. You would? You've done it before. Oh, that's sweet. What would you do? I'll get get some. You get it, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any problem with that. It's something that people have it's something that women have to go through. They have to go through it. Exactly. We're supposed to be finding trash people and these people are great. Do you know anyone that wouldn't go do it? Any like boyfriends?
Like any dudes out any there. Dude. You're more likely to do it than my dad would. Um, yeah, my brother wouldn't either. Your brother! Your own flesh and blood. What do you have to say to all the guys out there that wouldn't go get tampons for their friend, their mom, their sister? Huh. I mean, just get it. You get condoms for yourself, right? It's like the same with buying condoms and protection and stuff. If you, you'd have to do it, you have to do it. It's right. Well, the thing is, we don't ask to have periods, but you guys have sex willingly. Yes, no, that's very true. Would you buy him condoms? Yeah. Um, yeah. Why not? Do you like go together, you're like holding hands down the aisle and you're like, this one. Like, Nathan, Nathan, I don't know who that is. If like you fell down and you got a cut and there's blood coming out of it. How is that any different from the blood that's coming out of your vagina? You know what I mean? It's not different. Well, no, it's not at all. It's a bit thicker, but... A bit thicker, that's true. Why are you asking me this? <laughs> We need to know, the people need to know! You've seen the blood before you, and what were your thoughts? It's just normal, I had nosebleeds as a child, so... Same thing, nose, vagina. One's a little chunkier than the other. Yeah, 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 blood's nothing to me. Anyone who thinks this guy could be the future, yeah, get your... Okay. <laughs> Do they have anything they want to say? <laughs> no. Oh my god. What if you woke up one day and blood was shooting out of your penis hole? I'll go to the doctor first. Definitely go to the doctor, that's yeah. concerning. Uh, stop asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to test your knowledge of the female reproductive system. You can go first and then we'll have a second round and you can go. These are the categories, so you're going to take the sticky note and put it the place you think it is. Alright, so we have egg sacs, we have the baby bubble, the slip and slide, the Filipino tube, the vagina, and the stank. Okay, does all this make sense to you? Yeah. If you've been educated, you should yeah. have a good idea. I probably have been educated, so I just... Are you familiar with these terms? Really. Alright. I'll do my best. Oh no, these are real, baby. In the science books. I'm telling you. <laughs> are you sure? I'm positive! Alright, so we'll give you 20 seconds. Ready? Go! Okay, egg sacs. He's got the egg sacs. The vagina. Mm-hmm. A tubish thing, the Filipino tube. Slip and slide. Where's the baby bubble? The baby bubble. Mm. Come on, baby bubble, let's go! I don't know where the baby bubble is. Come on! Aren't you an educated man? No. This is Manchester. Not educated enough. All right, the stank. Where is the stank? Come on. Feel it in your loins. Where's the stank? Put it wherever you want. Wherever you feel in your heart. Okay, thank you so much. This was actually a joke. Not real names, yeah, as you could have seen. And this is going to be for you, my lady. Not Filipino tube. All right, we're not racist around here. This is the fallopian tubes, ovaries, vagina, cervix, uterus question mark for whatever really tickles your fancy for that all right if you want to get started go ahead 20 second fallopian tubes okay she's got it she's an educated woman college graduated she educated okay uterus baby box same thing all right we got it we got it no worries no worries cervix vagina Where's the question mark? Put it wherever you feel. What is this? It's really just, we don't know. Yes, thank you. That was correct. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Is there anything you want to say to the peeps at home, to your mom and dad, maybe, who are super proud that you're involved in this? Um, <laughs> on your vagina. On your vagina. Yeah, what she said. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click, click, click on that subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, and turn those notifications on. Appreach. The links are right here. Hopefully you guys learned something, and if not, up yours.